What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade. Um, I do have an update for all you guys. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to get a live again tonight, but I redid the math. And I will show you guys just how much. Um, and I mean, they owe me quite a bit. So I redid the math, like I reconfigured the math and did it a long way instead of short ways. And let me show you guys something. This is currently how much Amuse owes me. Give me just a minute here. I find my thing here. I have to literally type it in because I kind of forgot to. So I did the math, right? And this is how much Amuse owes me. Thirty nine dollars and nine cents. Right there in bold. Thirty nine oh nine. So these motherfuckers ripped me off for thirty nine bucks, which is a lot of fucking money for me. Like that thirty nine dollars, dude, I could use that. Thirty-nine oh nine Amuse owes me. So yo, Amuse, I wanna know where's my fucking money that you guys are keeping from me? Four people bought my fucking album. Which my album is nine dollars and forty nine cents on Google Play and any other shop where you can buy it. And currently, all I have for my live streams are a dollar thirteen in total since June. Where's the rest of my money at? Oh, and another update for you guys. Um, I did a little bit of research on Amuse, and I call bullshit on this. They sat there and said that it takes up to six months. Six months. For the payments to go through to my PayPal. I call bullshit. It don't take no goddamn six months. For payments to go through to PayPal. From somebody buying an album. Where's my fucking money? You guys owe me. Big time. And after this you're going to owe me even more. So you know what Amuse. You keep doing this shit. I guarantee you. I can and will put your ass on blast, and I will fucking take you to court for not only ripping me off, but ripping off other artists. You're ripping people off. It don't take no six months for fucking payments to go to a goddamn PayPal. It's not that fucking hard. Like, dude. I want to know where my fucking money is at. You owe me $39. The 9 cents, I can get that anywhere else. I can replace that with one of my quarters. That's no big deal. But the $39, you guys fucking owe me. And after this, you're going to owe me even more. This is my only way of making a fucking living. Is off my music and my shop, and that's it. I'm sick to death and fucking tired of people like you scumbags ripping me off. Not to mention everybody else you fucking ripped off. I'm done with it. I'm done being toyed with. I'm done being ripped off. See, I should have listened when people told me to... 
be weary of you, now I know why. Granted, yes, you're backed by the famous artist Will I Am, and that's all well and good. But don't get me wrong, that's really good. But what I want to know is where's the rest of my money that should be in my PayPal account? I should have more than enough to take out and put in my PayPal. I should be able to take every fucking cent right now and put it in my PayPal. I want to tell you something. If I had that much right now, I would actually set myself up for even better. And let me tell you something. The first thing I would do with that money, first thing I would do, invest in a mic and then pay off my friends and pay for the PS3 that my buddy's trying to sell me for nine something dollars. For like nine dollars and something cents. I'd pay everybody that I owe off. I would pay all them off first. And then I would buy myself some stuff that I need. Like, you guys don't get it. You're ripping people like me off, and it's not okay. You're stealing money from people like me, and that's not fair. I released my album, my album Blackout, dropped in June of last year. June 20th of last year, it dropped. So you gotta figure, June, July, August, September. So what am I supposed to do? Wait until November to get my music? No. Or to get my payout? Fuck no. You owe me my motherfucking money. And that's why from now on, I am going through the digital distribution app backed by Warner Brothers Entertainment called Level. Same thing as you guys, but a whole lot better. Because at least they don't fucking rip people off. Because like I said, you're ripping me off of my money. $39 you guys fucking owe me. And quite honestly, I'm sick of being ripped off and toyed with. Granted, yeah, I got like $1.13 off streams and shit like that. So what? That's just petty shit. That's streams. Nobody, well, I won't say nobody listens to streams because a lot of people do. But, what, I'm, I'm not worried about the streams. The streams are always going to be there. But what I'm worried about is my money that you owe me and the money that my friends and personal blood family used to buy one of my albums. Where's my motherfucking money? I want to know. I want some fucking answers. Now let me tell you something. If you give me some bullshit answer that I know is a lie, I'm calling you out on it. And I will continue to call you out on it. And I will continue to tell artists not to go through you. And to go through Level, which is backed by Warner Brothers Entertainment. Which is one of the biggest, and I mean one of the biggest, record labels in the fucking world. If not the biggest. But dude, that's $39 out of my pocket. That's taking away from me making a living. That's money that I can use to help pay bills around here. That's money that I can use to help pay for shit that needs paid for. That's money I can use to put food in my family's mouth. Alright? That's money that I can use to help my moms out. That's money that I can use to further my career. And yet, what do you do? You steal. You stole my money. And I want my money back. You guys think I'm joking. I will continue to harass you and badger you until you give me my motherfucking money or I have to drag your ass in the court. And if you think I can't do it, try me, motherfuckers. 
I have multiple emails, multiple accounts. You ain't fucking stopping me. Because let me tell you something. When I hunt somebody down, I don't stop. And until I get my money, I will not stop. So either you give me my money, or I'm taking your little fucking punk ass business to court. Because I call bullshit on everything you're doing. You're fucking me over. You're fucking millions and millions of artists over out of good pay. Good hard working artists like myself who bust their ass. Every day. And yet, what do you do? You steal from them. People like me who put our heart and soul into every fucking lyric, every fucking song, every fucking beat, every fucking piece of music that we touch. You're making other companies like Level look bad. And this is what pisses me off. Like, out of everything else, you guys sit there and say that you get to keep 100% of what you make. Well, where's my money at? Where's my thirty-nine dollars that I'm owed? If you like, if you say that you get to keep one hundred percent of what you make, then where's my thirty-nine dollars and nine cents at? Where's all that at? It's not adding up. You guys are a fucking fake. You guys are a joke. And honestly, you're just bad for business. So after this album, I w after this next album drops this next week, I will no longer be using a muse, and I'll be going to level, which is backed by W by WB Records, which is Warner Brothers Records. So a muse, you can kiss my motherfucking ass. I am no longer doing business with you. You are bad for business. So, like I said, after this album drops, by next week on my birthday, I'm not using you guys no more. Unless you guys give me my money. Or you give me some real, logical, non-bullshit explanation as to why I haven't gotten my money onto my Amuse account yet. Because believe me, you've got myself and many others that I know pissed off in a very big way and if you think you guys can't be touched you're wrong because if I don't get my money I guarantee you I'm coming after your asses and I'm gathering every fucking artist that I can to come after your ass that's gone through you guys you guys have fucked me over you guys have fucked a lot of other artists over, and I'm not standing for it. I work hard on everything I do, and I mean everything I do. I work my ass off to the bone, day and fucking night. And everybody wonders why I don't sleep. I do sleep, but it's at weird hours. I sleep in the little bits here and there, in spurts. Reason why? Because my mind's always going. My mind's always thinking and going and going and going and thinking of how I can do things to better my career. How I can push my sound to the next level. Which pushes me to put out better music. But you guys don't see the... You guys don't see that. All you see is what we send you, what we upload to our accounts. You don't see the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the sacrifices we make. I think I speak for all artists and bands and musicians alike when I say that we are some of the hardest working motherfuckers on this goddamn planet. We work double the hours the normal person does. Especially myself. When everybody else is asleep and in their beds, passed out for the night, what am I doing? Up, uh, busting my ass, promoting, working on more stuff, getting stuff ready for the next album.
when that one person is out promoting and doing whatever, I'm here in the fucking studio busting my ass, working on shit every fucking day, writing, recording, every fucking day. Even if it's not a regular song, I am always recording, always doing something music-wise. I am always working 24-7, 365. I've been doing it for 11 fucking years. And I'm not about to stop now. Because that hard work of 11 years is what got me to where I'm at. It got me to working with some of the best fucking names in the business. Like Raydell Battle. Like Julian Solano from Nightcore. Like Soldier Hard and Sabo from NSA Entertainment. And Soldier, like I said, Soldier Hard from Red Con One Music Group. I forgot to mention that. That got me working with guys like Cryptic Wisdom. That got me working with a bunch of different people. A bunch of big names. And yet, what do you motherfuckers go and do? You try to ruin my reputation by stealing my motherfucking money that I am owed by you guys? Sorry, you're not ruining my reputation. I've worked way too fucking hard to get to where I'm at. And I'm not about to drop now. I have busted my ass day and fucking night. When that motherfucker that's just promoting and not doing anything, I am busting my ass. When everyone's asleep, I'm busting my ass working on music. You want to know when I run on sleep? I run on maybe four, maybe six, maybe five hours of sleep in a week. Maybe within a couple days. Why? Because I'm always pushing myself to do better. I'm constantly pushing myself to the limit. <clears throat> and for good reason. I push myself to the limit because I believe in what I'm doing. I believe in putting out good music that everybody enjoys. My number one hit single, I Am A Monster, went fucking huge. Not only on Spotify, but on YouTube as well. My new number one hit single, Behind These Walls, got over 100 views on YouTube. So you want to sit there and steal my money? <laughs> I don't think so. You're not getting away with it. Yeah, you guys might be a big distributor digitally, but what you don't realize is the connections that I have to people that can fuck you guys over quicker than the snap of my motherfucking finger. Literally. All I gotta do is this. And you guys are fucked out of business. And if you don't think it's true, try me motherfuckers. I have my connections that I earned. I earned my way here. I busted my ass and worked my ass off and earned my way here every step of the motherfucking way. Every step of the way I have busted my ass. And I will continue to bust my ass until I'm dead in the motherfucking ground. Until the day I retire or I'm dead in the ground, I will continue to bust my fucking ass. You want to tell you something. That extra ounce of hard work that your average artist doesn't put out, I'm putting out. That extra bit of perfection that not a lot of artists use, I use it. I put out double the amount of work that your average artist does. Every fucking day, I'm always releasing, always putting out. Always busting my ass, always doing what I gotta do. To keep myself going. To keep myself pushing to that next level. And if you don't believe me, ask every motherfucker that has seen me bust my ass since day one. Because let me tell you something, there's one person that can actually vouch for that who has seen first hand what I do day in and day out since 2010 and that's my brother Eric Scruggolo 
He's seen every single fucking thing that I do every day music wise, day in and day out. He's seen my hard work. Let me tell you something. What takes most artists weeks to put out an album? Me and him did it over fucking nights. Within 24 hours. My first solo hip hop album, Between the Lines, I released within three hours. Why? Because I busted my fucking ass. And if that doesn't show you fucking hard work, then what the fuck does? I put out more than anyone else out there on the fucking face of this earth. I work harder than anyone on the face of this earth when it comes to music. Every day, every night, I eat, sleep, breathe, and live music daily. And if you don't believe me, check my reputation. I am sick of being fucked over by money hungry digital distributors like you. Because, like I said, it don't take no fucking six months to get a $39.09 payment. That is pure bullshit. I am sick and tired of being screwed over. Because the only time I'm along with my hard work, I've been screwed over. And I'm fucking done with it. Like I said, you guys owe me $39.09. And all I have in my amuse count is $1.13. My personal blood family. Some of my best friends in the world bought my album. And what I want to know is where's my fucking money? Where's that $39 that you guys owe me? To you guys, to Amuse, to you guys, that might not seem like much. But for somebody like me, who doesn't have anything at all, Who barely scrapes by on bills. Who barely gets by day in and day out. We're barely able to afford cable or anything right now. We're barely able to do that. Even with our roommate working, we're just barely getting by. So to me, that $39 is like a million dollars. To me, that's like winning the lottery. To me, that $39 is money that I can use to accelerate my career. That I can use to buy things that can actually help me to get to where I need to be to push me to that next level. You guys are not only taking away from me, but you're taking away from my family. And when you mess with my family, that's where I draw the fucking line. Because not only did my friends buy my album, but some of my blood family did as well. Because they love my music and they love what I do. And they're not just doing it to be nice. They genuinely enjoy it. And for you to take from my family, I'm not okay with that. You can mess with my music. You can say shit about me all you want. But talk about my family... And steal from my family like you're doing? Let me tell you something. That's a mistake that you will regret. And I can assure you that. Talk about a man. And this is completely true. You can talk about a man. You can be a man down all you want. Talk about his attitude. Talk about him. Make fun of him all you want. But mess with a man's family? Then you're just asking for a straight up fucking ass whooping. 
And I can assure you that if I do not get my money or if I do not get a very fair and very real explanation as to why I do not have my money, I will take your asses down and I will bust your asses for what you've done. Because guess what, motherfuckers? I have family that's ex fucking military. I have family that's ex police force that still has connections to both. And guess what? You guys are committing a crime. You're stealing from artists. What you guys are doing is a fucking crime. You're ripping people off from their money just so you can make bank. And if you think I'm fucking playing, try me, motherfuckers. I am done having my family and my living being ripped away from me every fucking day. I'm sick of it. And I'm sorry to those that have to sit here and see me pissed off like this, but it's shit like this that pisses me off. It's motherfuckers like these guys that rip me off and take and take and take until somebody takes them. That pisses me off. They make hard workers like myself and many other artists and many other bands look like jokes when we're not jokes. I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, you know, just calm down, just calm down. No, I'm not calming down on this one. I'm tired of being taken from. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. And I'm tired of being ripped off and screwed over. Every fucking second of every day. I'm sick of it. It's time for me to start fucking taking back. And guess what? That's exactly what I intend to do. I intend to take back. And guess what? If you send me a bullshit email, guess what I gotta do? All I gotta do is call customer service, talk to your fucking boss, and ask, where's my money? So I suggest if you motherfuckers don't want me to call your boss, I suggest you give me my money. Because I can and will have you motherfuckers fired in a heartbeat. And guess what? If your boss still won't give me the money. If your boss will not hand over my money that I am owed. Guess what? All I gotta do. Send this shit to the cops. False advertisement motherfuckers. Because guess what? On your site. And I quote. I quote this. Matter of fact, I will quote this right here in front of everyone so you guys can see this. I will quote this in front of every single one of you guys. And this was a screenshot taken personally by me on the official Amuse website. Let's see if I can find it here. And I quote this. This is an actual quote from Amuse themselves. This is what it says. How long does it take to get payments? The stores do payouts between six weeks and six months after the month of your music. After the month your music is streamed or downloaded. A Spotify stream in February shows royalty payment in April. A June download in iTunes gives payment in August. The slowest stores do payouts twice per year. I call bullshit. It don't take no six months, motherfuckers.
And I quote, this is something that else that I'm not too big on. <clears throat> um, you use uses PayPal to do payments to the artist. It's easy to sign up, blah, 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 blah. Alright, here it is. You give us the PayPal account at the same time as you ask to withdraw the money. It is not possible to do this before retrieving the sum. PayPal is the only service we use for the moment. That I can kind of understand. But at the same time, sketchy as fuck. Why would I give you my PayPal? I mean, I'll, I can give you the link to my PayPal me. I can give you my fucking email that I use for it. But even giving you the email itself is sketchy as fuck. Now, for those of you that have heard my argument, does Amuse sound like a bullshit distributor or not? I want your guys' honest opinion on this. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But does it take, like this is actually more of a question than an opinion. Does it take six months on the norm to get a payout from guys like this that are digital distributors? If I'm wrong, I apologize. If I'm not wrong, guess what, Amuse? You're in a world of fucking hurt with me. But I need to know, for any distributor, whether you're a music artist, producer, or whatever, like for your payouts, like if you're a signed artist, does it normally take six months to retrieve a payout in the PayPal? I need to know. Because if these guys are fucking me over, I want to bust their asses real fucking hard. Because I'm not doing this twice a year bullshit. If I put out an album, I expect payment right then and there. Because these people are spending their hard-earned money to listen to my music. And if they're going to pay out to listen to my music, I'm going to get my money's worth, and they're going to get their money, their money's worth. I'm not joking around. I'm done being taken advantage of it. I'm done being fucked over. I'm done with it. I'm sick of this shit. I'm a music artist trying to make a living off of the one one of the very few things he knows how to do. Okay? My family ain't rich. While everybody else has an Xbox One S and a PS4 in the latest game, I'm over here with a Nintendo Wii a Kindle Fire HD in a Chromebook. That's what I got. My family ain't rich. I'd love to rock the new game systems. I would kill for an Xbox One. I would kill to be able to do a lot of the shit on Xbox One that I should be able to do. I would kill the... Wait, honestly, I'll be honest with you. If I had the money right now, I would go out, buy myself an Xbox One, a wheel setup, and Forza Horizon 3, along with GTA and Gran Turismo. Straight up. And why? Because I busted my ass long enough to be able to get that. And let me tell you something, if I were to add up all the money over the years that I should have made off of my music, let's, I'll be straight up honest with you, if I had the kind of money that I should have gotten over these years, I can tell you for sure that I could easily, easily buy a Lamborghini, without a doubt, I could easily buy it, because that's how much money I've gotten screwed out of over the years. 
11 years worth of being fucked out of money. Several albums flopped because of being screwed over. Hundreds of dollars worth of music down the train because they got screwed over. And you want to know what I would do with all that money? Like I said, yeah, I would buy myself an Xbox One and, you know, the setup for to accelerate my YouTube channel for gaming, obviously. That would be one thing that I would want to invest in. Because when I'm not doing music, I'm usually running my YouTube channel. Or I'm working on art. But the next thing I would invest in, I would invest in a program to help young and up-and-coming artists to not get screwed over by maniacal fucking greedy bastards like you guys. And whatever's left, I would donate to Operation Smile because those kids fucking need it. And yeah, I might, you know, buy myself a ticket to Comic Con to go meet Jason and stuff like that. I mean, let's be honest. I've always wanted to meet Jason ever since he became a fan of my work. Always. I've always wanted to meet him. And I've always wanted to shake his hand and say thank you. But more important than that, I would donate a good majority of that money to those kids of Operation Smile that actually need the help. Hell, I may even go on a couple missions with them to help out. But honestly, I'm sick to death and tired of being screwed over. My family ain't rich at all. Like I said, we're just barely getting by. You know, we're lucky. I'm honestly, I'll be straight up honest with you. I'm lucky to have cable TV. I'm lucky. To be able to watch the WWE Network. I'm lucky to even have anything that I have. And everyone wonders why I'm always busting my ass. And working as hard as I can. Trying to get people to buy my music. And to buy my clothing. This is why. Because I want to get my family out of this situation. I want to be able to make a living doing what I love. So Amuse, you can kiss my fucking ass. Because after this album drops, after Evolution releases, I will no longer do business with you. So fuck you, Amuse. You can kiss the darkest part of my little white ass. I'm done with you guys. I want my money. And I want it as soon as fucking possible. Otherwise we will have problems. If you think I'm playing, try me. These ain't just words. These are facts.